from the Tembling River at Kuala Tahan, the boat cruise upstream of Sungai Tahan to Lata Berkoh began with a scenic journey, relishing the natural beauty of flora and fauna along both sides of the river bank. The water level of the Sungai Tahan in this year's heat wave and drought season has dropped extremely low. Just barely five minutes into the joyful journey, we all already had to overcome our first unexpected obstacle. The boat under hull starts scraping against the river bed rocks and it got stuck. Everyone has to climb out and literally push the boat 
past the rapid obstacle. Baru sampai daripada Lombok eh? Ya. Rohingya. Rohingya. Lombok, Lombok mari eh. Pasport ada? Pasport, pasport ada? Tinggal. Cuma tu. Tak, lemah. Buat sangkut kena tolak. The archway formed by the Naram trees from both sides of the river bank is so majestic and mesmerizing. These Naram trees, or its scientific name Dipterocarpus oblongifolius, can attain huge size. Noticeably, some of the older and bigger trees took several thousand years to grow, and some has already died in recent time. Their huge trunks collapsing into the river. Eventually, their dead trunk can still be seen along the boat trip to Lataperko. Some of these trees may have been there for 500 years.
just as we begin to continue to enjoy the cruise slowly upstream, we again have to encounter another major rapid obstacle. Hola, turun. Having to get down and push the boat again for the second time was a fun experience for everyone. A brief talk was done to visit the giant Tualang tree, or its scientific name, Compassia excelsia, on the bank of the Sungai Tahan River. It is the biggest on record, just a shade short of 70 meters tall, and with an estimated pole diameter of about 3 meters at its widest above the buttress. There are many other giant trees like this which comprises a large part of the emergent layer in the upper canopy in Taman Negara. The next stop is at the famous Lubuk Tenor Kelasti Sanctuary along the Sungai Tahan. This Kelas Sanctuary is one of the last bastion of the pristine Kelas fish breeding in Peninsula Malaysia. 
It earlier started as a University Science Penang research breeding and fish feeding program in Lubuk Teno and Lubuk Lesong. Just keep calm in the water and watch them come to you for the pellets as you feed them. Feel the bites and test your skill to touch and hold the fish with your bare hands. This is truly an extraordinary nature experience. The ikan kelah or red masa is the king of freshwater fish in Malaysia and also the sebarau hampala barb can also be found here. After about 45 minutes of boat ride further upstream, the boat stopped at 120 meters away from the cascade as no boat can no longer get past this point because of the shallow water and dangerous rapids. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come Dia makin lama kita makin naik naik bukit ni. Memang air dia. Ini nak ke ke Kuala uh, Gunung Tahan ni. Oh ni. Trek ni. Kita oh. tadi kan kat sini. Alright. We then had to walk for another 20 minutes this makes through an easy walking path along the river bank that leads to the cascade. Jom. This jungle tracks can be slippery and full of blood sucking leeches after heavy sedekah rain sedekah, as sedekah. it's a rainforest sedekah buat tak tahu <laughs> if you are lucky you might come across fresh elephant dung along the way okay, 
We eventually reached the Latabarco, spectacular water cascade that marks the limit of easy navigability on the river. Quite untouched, there are deep pools below the cascade with strong undercurrent and it's very cold, fresh water. Swimming is dangerous. Just relax and enjoy the rapid from the rocky area. If you look further up this Sungai Tahan River, is, there is the most challenging hiking trail in Malaysia, climbing up to 53 km to Gunung Tahan or Mount Tahan at 2,187 meters, the highest point in Peninsula Malaysia, which will take seven days, six nights to complete the route, four days ascending, and three days descending back down to Kuala Tahan again. After the sweaty trekking, we all decided instead to have a bath a bit further downstream on the way back to the last boat stop. Okay. While dipping in the cold water, everyone have fun doing the natural facial makeup activity. The pebbles in the riverbed here is made of many soil chemical type that when scrapped to another hard stone will generate a variety of color such as purple, yellow, green, gray and white shades that can be used to decorate the skin. Without realizing, time flies so fast and soon it's time to return back to Kuala Tahan. The return journey back to Kuala Tahan went very smoothly without any hitch this time. It is a very exciting experience and how everyone wish they can come again for another trip to Taman Negara. And this is where the dark tannin water of the Sungai Tahan meets with the brownish water of the Kuala Tembaling River.